I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. Ah! Oh! oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting! It's a fair statement to say that I am no stranger to pain, as over the past two years, I have arguably taken more intentional bites, <coughs> chomps, pinches, <coughs> and stings than any other human being. <coughs> Some people say that I am absolutely crazy, <coughs> while others have labeled me as being admirably fearless. <coughs> However, <coughs> I describe myself as a passionate educator who has endured these wild experiments so that we can all learn about animals and ultimately take away from my discomfort a newfound respect for these oftentimes misunderstood creatures. So while I might be a little crazy, I certainly am not completely fearless and have made it very clear that there are only two creatures on this planet that make my skin crawl. The first is infamously known as the toe biter. Scientifically, this alien-looking creature is addressed as the giant water bug, and its bite, which is inflicted with a needle-like rostrum, is unbelievably painful. Ah! Ah! Since we first featured one of these insects several years ago, the Coyote Pack has been requesting both a bite and aftermath episode. So I faced my fears, safely caught one of these giants, and then in poetic fashion, let it latch on and bite my toe. It was a pain that I will never forget, but a fear that I proudly conquered in the name of science and education. My second fear needs no elaborate introduction. You already know what it is. And yes, I will be bitten by the giant desert centipede. These voracious predators can occasionally be encountered when exploring the deserts of the Southwest. And whether you stumble upon one under the light of day, as it disappears into a burrow, or you happen to bear witness to one as it hunts under the darkness of night, the reaction by most is usually the same. Screaming, running in the opposite direction, and then mentally navigating a thick cloud of disbelief for what your eyes had just seen. A giant, leg-covered, venomous fang-wielding terror that could only have materialized within one's most horrifying nightmare. However, this is no bad dream, and it's certainly no figment of your imagination. In fact, this animal is as real as it gets, and for me, the moment you have all been waiting for is closer than you think. Centipede! Oh, look at this! Where? Giant desert centipede right here, right on the other side where, of this where, bush. Where? Wow, look at that! Hold on a second, let me try to bring it out here for you guys. Pick it up with this. Here. Oh, no, no, it's moving. Here, give me that Tupperware container. Mario, get that container out of your bag. Here, use your hat, use your hat. Oh, it's not working. Get him? No, 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 it's so fast. I can't grab onto it. Ah! Hurry, hurry, hurry! I got a pin. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, go out. Oh, nice. Got it. Woo! That is a big centipede. <sighs> that will get your heart racing 
The bite from this creature is one of the most painful here in the Southwest. And if there's one creature that gets my heart racing, it is the giant desert centipede. Wow, that is a big one too. You see that through the container there? That might be the biggest one I've seen. It very well may be. Wow, you're looking at a living nightmare right there. Look at that thing. That is creepy, man. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many people have requested me to get bitten by this creature. It's a lot. Mm. It's a lot of people have been wanting to know how bad the bite is from this thing. I can see as your gears grinding, it's got me a little nervous. Well, I'm definitely not gonna do it under the darkness of night. What I might be willing to do is sleep on it and maybe tomorrow under daylight, we consider it. But in the moment right now, I'm thinking, no, absolutely not. But I gotta admit, part of me is curious but part of me is just incredibly fearful. You're shaking your head now. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, man. This, this is- Not a bite too a, far? Maybe a bite too far. Well, let's do this. We can certainly hold on to it overnight. Worst case scenario, we do another episode with it tomorrow. Just kind of look at it. It's anatomy under the light of day and we cross that bridge when we get to it. How about that? Okay, I can agree to that. Okay, well, let's hold on to it and uh, see what else we can find tonight. Woo -hoo! Man. That's gonna top off the night right there. Great spot, dude. Man, that's crazy. When they say giant desert centipede, they aren't kidding. Look at the size of that myriapod. Wow. It's even more intimidating in the daylight than it is at night. Now, we caught this creature last night and I said, all right, let's hold on to it. Let me sleep on it. Let me think if I really want to be bitten by this creature. Here we are, seven o'clock in the morning. I think we all know what's going to happen. All right, guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to be bitten by the giant desert centipede so that I can explain to you just how painful the bite from this creature really is. Now, before we get into the bite, let's take a look at the anatomy of this creature because it's just, it's like the perfect design for everything that is creepy. Now, it is an arthropod, like all insects and arachnids, but technically it's a myriapod, also related to millipedes. And when it comes to centipedes, the giant desert is the largest in the United States. Now, this is a creature that you don't often come across because they're strictly nocturnal. Now, it is so hard to sit behind this container and look at this creature. I mean, you can hear its little legs scratching on the inside of this capsule. Whoa! I mean, Mark, seriously, have you ever seen a creature that's more nightmarish than this? Nope, and I know this is something you've been not looking forward to. Well, people often want to know, is there anything that scares Coyote Peterson? I jump on alligators, I jump into swamps to catch snapping turtles, I handle black widows and golden orb weave spiders, but the centipede, ever since I was a kid, for some reason, just, just always been like, uh, I don't want to get near that thing, because it has so many legs, and each one of those legs has a little hook on it, so when they grab onto something, they grapple onto something, and when they bite, those fangs ratchet down and they hold on. So this is not necessarily a bite and run, this could be a bite and pull. Yes, uh, you know, when I've been stung by things in the past, I hold on to them with the entomology forceps. And when I do that, I let go, the insect usually falls right off of my arm. But in this instance, this myriapod is capable of holding on to me and inflicting more than one bite. All right, well. Let's do this at this point, because I know you guys want to get a slightly better look at it. I'm going to actually take it out of this plastic container so we can get a good look at its body segmentation and the little hooks on those feet. You ready for that? Okay, let's do it. All right, to do that, I'm going to just gently, uh -oh. yeah. I gotta actually pin down its head to do this. Oh, jeez, look man. how fast See it how is. fast it is? Now, Coyote, these, oh, I've heard this called the cheetah of the desert. Yes, that is because they are speedy and they are lethal. Let me see if I can actually You might need a bigger set of forceps. There's just no good way to go about this. Whoa. 
That was a committed grab if I've ever seen one. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh. What's each, wrong? Is it biting you? No, but each one of these little leg segments is incredibly sharp. Look at that body. Wow, and it is incredibly rigid. The exoskeleton on this animal is rock solid. And each one of those little leg segments grapples onto you and it tries to pull itself down so that the fangs can bite. Now those fangs are actually called maxilliped and they are modified legs on... It's almost getting me right now. My goodness. Almost got me right there. That was close. Okay, I do not have as good a hold as I thought I did. I can actually see venom coming out of the maxilliped. Wow, look at those, okay. That's a slightly better hold. It almost was capable of completely wrapping its body down and inflicting that bite sooner than we wanted it to. Wow, that is intimidating. Okay, not an easy animal to hold on to because it is so incredibly strong. All right, guys, I'm gonna place it back into the plastic container here. Take a minute to compose myself and then we're gonna head into the bite. You ready? Really gently and there we go. Nice. Woo! Barely escaped a bite there. All right, guys, let me give you a little testimony up here. So as we know, I have taken many bites. Some of them non-venomous, some of them venomous, lots of stings, and the giant desert centipede is the one animal that I always thought to myself, you know what, I never want to be bitten by that creature. But I have the opportunity to do this, and I guess part of me is doing it for curiosity, part of me is doing it for science, and part of me is doing it to find out just how painful this bite really is. Now I've heard from several different sources that it could be more painful than a rattlesnake bite, not as painful as a heel monster, which I've been bitten by, and some people say it's no more painful than a honeybee sting. So it's all about how my body reacts to the venom. Now it is gonna attack my red blood cells and I don't know what that will do. Uh, it could potentially rot a hole in my arm. It may just cause some localized swelling and pain and I may be just fine. Um, but I've kind of climbed the insect sting pain index and I feel when it comes to bites, this has got to be the last one. Oh boy, this just became a reality. Wow, there it is, the giant desert centipede. And I'm about to be bitten by it. Okay, well, the next thing we need to do is actually get it out of this plastic container. And to do that, I'm gonna gently go in and pin it. Ready? Yep. That's creepy. There's the commitment. Okay, got a hold on it. Oh man, those little legs are digging into me. Woo! Look at those fangs. My goodness, okay. Now, I do, as always, have an epinephrine pen. I'm just stating that for the record. And... I'll set that. Emergency satellite phone. Always important. Never had to use it. Please don't let today be the first time. Camera three rolling. GoPro is rolling, okay. Here we go, ready? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. One, two, Right there, there's where the fangs went, and you see those puncture marks? Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> Grab the pain. Ah! Immediately searing! Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting! Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Ah!
this is searing my skin. Oh my gosh, this is the worst pain I have felt since the Gila Monster. This absolutely just completely eclipses all the insect stings I've taken. Ah! Oh. Ah! How sharp are the fangs? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! I can see where they went in right there. Ah! Double chomp. Ah! Could you even see that? It bit and like curled the skin up and then let go and bit a second time. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, this is blood coming to the surface. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Okay, I gotta okay. Know, I gotta know you're not like in serious trouble you guys talk to me. It's a different pain than any sting I've taken. It's searing, it is absolutely searing. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I can't compose words right now, man. Uh, uh, you let me know if you feel like you're in trouble. Any swelling in the mouth? I'm just, I need some water, I need some water. Oh my gosh. Describe me where you feel the pain. Is it just as localized to the, the bite? It's going up my arm. It is going up my arm just like the venom of heel monster. Man, look at the welts that are forming on my arm. Ugh. Dude, we might need to use that venom extractor. This is. Ugh. Got the cameras. We gotta get the venom extracted. We gotta get some venom on my arm. Ah! I'm serious. Got the, got the cameras. Got the cameras. Ah! Never before had I asked for the cameras to be turned off during a bite or sting episode. Never before had I been in such uncontrollable pain. And never before had we not completed an episode. this episode was intense, stay tuned for the epic conclusion as we show you exactly what happened to me after I was bitten by the giant desert centipede. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.